to this webinar. Uh, my name is Chris White, and, and I'm an international recruitment officer at Derby. Specifically, uh, I cover Sub-Saharan Africa, but also uh, UK domicile as well. I, I used to do recruitment in Europe for a long time as well, so I, I know Europe very well uh, also. Um, today, um, during this session, we'll cover the key reasons why we think a student should choose the University of Derby as the first choice of where to study in the UK, uh, but also how the university, in particular our business and management courses, help students improve their employability levels. We'll give you an introduction to the university and an overview of our city. Uh, we'll show you about uh, subject areas on offer at the university. Then I will go into uh, telling you about Derby Business School and how the qualifications we offer help your employability and to be industry ready. We'll also talk to you about some of the other support available in the area of careers and employability at the university. Finally, we sure by then you'll be interested in finding out more and possibly applying. So we'll tell you a little bit about financial uh, support options, including current scholarships and discounts, as well as the entry requirements for students and the admissions process as well. The whole presentation should last between 30 and 35 minutes, then that will allow plenty of time for questions. So the most common question I'm asked is um, where Derby is. So I'll start off with showing a, a short video telling you that. Chris, there's no sound to this presentation. Well, well, no, no sound at all, or just the video. Uh, we can see the video, but we uh, there wasn't any sound. Right, right, worked. But it's yet. okay. We we read what was on the slide. Okay, yes, it worked yesterday. So, um, okay. Sorry, sorry if you're sorry. Um, there's no sound on that. Uh, the video worked yesterday, um, but I will explain a little bit anyway as we go on. So the University of Derby, as you will have guessed, is based in the city of Derby. This is located in the heart of England, in an excellent position to access all the UK has to offer. The birthplace of the Industrial Revolution. We're proud to be building on a region's heritage and innovation and industry relevant expert teaching and world leading research. Our location mixes the best of city living with the ability to explore one of the most stunning national parks in the country, the Peak District. We take our sports seriously as well. Derby is also the home to a championship football team, a county cricket side, and one of only six indoor cycling velodromes in the UK. That's where Team GB train. Derby also has a low cost of living compared to many other UK universities. And the region is great for business too. There's been more than £3 million invested in the city over the past 10 years. The city of Derby is in the top 10 for creating jobs. Derby has the highest wages in the East Midlands and is ranked second in the UK for the best place to make a living. And Derby has a fantastic engineering heritage too, home to the likes of Rolls-Royce, Toyota, Bombardier and JCB. We're incredibly proud to be the only university in the city and in the county, and with a much loved second home to more than 19,000 on campus students, including 2,000 of which are international from over 100 countries, creating a diverse and multicultural student community. The city of Derby itself has held purple flag status for six years in recognition of it being a welcoming and safe place with lots going on for international students to really experience British culture. As well as a good choice of cafes, bars, restaurants and shops, there are theatres, cinemas, some great parks, an art centre and museums for you to enjoy. Now I've told you a little bit about the city and the surrounding. Let, let's see what it actually looks like and what some of our students get up to.
Okay, that's the city. Derby University has a significant strength in teaching and learning, which is reflected in its achievements of being rated gold in the Teaching and Excellence Student Outcomes Framework. Only 20% of universities meet this standard in the UK. We've also been rated one of the top 20 establishments in the country for academic experience and the top 250 new universities in the world. Top 10 for postgraduate student experience in the postgraduate taught experience survey of 2020. Uh, the top 10 in the world for international student learning experience in the international student barometer of 2018. In the past 10 years, we have ourselves invested around 200 million pounds on study, sports, recreation, and wellness facilities to provide the best possible experience for our students. And we're winning awards for our accommodation. Our campus is a short walk from the city centre and we have a number of sites across Derby and Derbyshire. We've been ranked in the top 20 of the world for our campus buildings and the latest international student barometer. The quality of our facilities ensures that students are experiencing environments and technology on par with the highest levels of industry. Examples include a forensic house with replica crime scenes and blood splatter room, a purpose-built crown court, a fully operational stock exchange environment in our Bloomberg Financial Markets Lab, an NHS standard hospital ward, or, sorry, and clinical suite. We own and run Derby Theatre, a commercial theatre in the city. So these are students uh, and they actually are based in the theatre rather than the classroom. Our new £10.8 million sports centre, which includes a state-of-the-art gym, fitness classes, climbing walls, squash court, tennis courts, and football field. We have a computer games lab, fully serviced music production studio and media suite. And we have a new, brand new 12 and a half million pounds science, technology, engineering and maths building, our STEM center. We're one of the five uh, centers of excellence to improve STEM in the UK. We are the one of the Midlands. Um, Right, so our institution consists of four colleges, the College of Arts, Humanities and Education, Business Law and Social Sciences, Health Psychology and Social Care, Science and Engineering. These colleges are then made up of the 10 schools you can see there, as well as an Institute of Education and a Centre of Contemporary Hospitality and Tourism. This then allows study opportunities at Derby in more than 40 subject areas. We're the most popular with our international students are programs in international business management, computing and engineering, as well as nursing and public health. In which we offer a range of study options from foundation programs, undergraduate bachelor degrees, one year top up programs for HND graduates through to masters and PhD, as well as English language if required. We also have a wide portfolio of online learning through UDAL, University of Derby Online. Today, however, we're talking about how our business and management courses help students with their employability. So we'll concentrate on this one school. Are you ready to get down to business? Study with Derby Business School and you'll gain the skills and knowledge and confidence to excel in today's <coughs> fast-paced global business arena. Whether your ambitions lie in accounting, business management, international business, economics and finance, marketing, supply chain and logistics, events management, tourism management, or hospitality management, we deliver quality education where you only learn about business, but you also get to do business as well. Derby Business School has become the latest business school to be awarded the Small Business Charter. This national accolade awarded by the Charter <laughs> of Business School is in recognition of the business school's high standard of support for small business and the local economy, as well as the work it does developing entrepreneurial skills in our students. Derby Business School is also a full member of the European Foundation Management Development a network of business schools, corporations dedicated to enhancing excellence in management education and development globally. 
Derby Business School is also currently ranked in the top 20 for business management and also marketing, as well as the top five for economic, <coughs> the most recent Guardian rankings this year. Many of our business courses are accredited by professional bodies, given our students an extra professional qualification on top of their studies, which will help you in your employability and give you a head start in the graduate market. Here you can see some of the examples available on both undergraduate and postgraduate programs. We aim to give you the best education and training. <coughs> so these programs have actually had employer consultation in design with an emphasis on employability and internationalization, looking at global current issues. And they're also assessed in very way, varied ways, including employer assessment. We also at Derby have a low staff to student ratio. So that means small class sizes. The student experience provided by the university has been rated amongst the best in the country. We've been ranked in the top 10 in the international student learning experience in the global ISB benchmark group of 2018. But one of the reasons our students have such a great experience throughout this study is of course, the quality and professionalism of our teaching. Our courses have been built by professional and academic experts with employability and up-to-date content firmly in mind. A great number of academics have come from industry and are still involved in industry. They know what it takes to succeed in their specialist areas. They're aware of the latest industry trends and developments and what employers are looking for. Derby students are award winners, innovators and game changers. They are receiving national and international recognition for their work, embarking on life-changing placements both in the UK and overseas to destinations such as India, Japan and New Zealand. Closer to home, they're also utilizing their skills and expertise to make a positive impact in their local community. Here you can see some of the strong industry links we have the employers across the spectrum, from charities to councils, SMEs to major multinational firms. We have flourishing partnerships regionally, nationally and globally with companies including Toyota, Bombardier, Rolls-Royce, Barclays Bank. As a result of these partnerships, the university has a reputation for applied learning and industry relevant degrees, offering over our 20,000 students unparalleled opportunities to gain professional work experience alongside their studies. Here you can see two examples of our business students and graduates where they've taken part in an internship or a placement and progressed onto a graduate role after. Of course, an industry relevant degree or master's is only part of the student story. Derby students mix with real business leaders and industry professionals, their perspectives sharpened through work placements, field trips and networking. Here on this slide, you can see our very own Bloomberg Financial Markets Lab on campus. Derby Business School supports our students to apply their learning with relevant work experience, placements, real world briefs, internships, live consultancy projects and industry visits. Every aspect of your learning is based on genuine challenges based by, faced by business organizations today. We have a varied program of guest lectures, business conferences, recruitment fairs and networking events, such as the Network of Entrepreneurs. It means you will build relationships with key influencers in your chosen industry and bolster your contacts book for the future. Career guidance is actually integrated into all our courses including help with job searches, CV writing, interview preparation. Our careers and employment service will continue to support you for up to three years after you've graduated too. Tailored support they offer includes CV workshops, employer events, career seminars and online support to make sure our graduates are job ready and shine in a competitive marketplace. A telling stat on the back of this is currently 96% of our graduates are in work or further study within six months of finishing their, their course according to the latest HESA data. As we all know, the world has been through a lot of change recently as we all recover from the social and economic impacts of recent events, a global perspective is increasingly important. Studying or working abroad will enable you to see the world from a different viewpoint, gain confidence and independence and boost your communication skills. These are all qualities that employers value highly 
so your time abroad could boost your CV and also help you on your way to your future career. We offer various opportunities for you to spend time in another country, including studying at one of our partner universities, working on a placement or internship, as well as maybe just field trips. Following the UK's departure from the European Union, the government is launching a new scheme to fund student study exchanges and placements abroad. The new Turing scheme will replace Erasmus Plus and the Europe-wide student exchange. And I've literally found out today, this will be beginning, beginning this year and allow students to exchange all over the world from a period of between four weeks and a year long, um, starting um, in four weeks time. Would you like, if you're a postgraduate student, to add valuable experience to your CV whilst gaming a master's qualification? Do you want to explore another country or culture by traveling during studies? Derby Business School also now offers an 18 month extended master on a suite of postgraduate programs that will allow you to gain your master's qualification, but also give you the time to engage in work experience or travel during a six month ex extension throughout the summer. Our 18 month uh, extended masters is available in a range of subject areas. You'll start your studies in January with your first semester taking you through to May. Once you've completed that first stage, you can take a break from study between May and September. We will support and encourage you to gain work experience, take on a placement or travel. Whichever option you choose, this opportunity will help you develop as an individual and stand out again from your fellow graduates. I thought I would end the section on Derby Business School with a slide showing a quote from the Pro Vice Chancellor and Dean of the College, Dr. Camille Omatesu, who himself has been on a student work to academic journey, starting his academic career in 2001 at Lagos State University in Nigeria. He then he worked did. in a number of different accounting and auditing roles in both public and private sectors before holding a number of academic positions at Coventry and De Montfort University, where he drove a number of strategic initiatives uh, and developed a growth reputation before we were lucky enough to have him at Derby. He's also currently uh, the chair of the Centre for African Resources Research and Development, and he also sits on the Council of Chartered Association of Business Schools. Um, this um, Charter supports members to maintain world-class standards on teaching and research and help shape policy and create opportunities through dialogue with both businesses and the government. The final few words of the quote perfectly summarise what the college and our management course's primary aim is, and that is to help you actualise your career ambition. So in this previous section, you heard about a little bit about how careers guidance is integrated into all our courses but also how the Careers and Employment Service supports you throughout your studies and after graduation. So in this next section, I thought I would share with you some of the ways they do this, as this is a question we're often asked uh, by students, either through email or particularly at careers exhibitions or recruitment exhibitions overseas. The Careers and Employment Service supports all our students on their journey towards their future career. No matter what course you've chosen or what your level of previous experience is, we will provide tailored support with access to services and programs to help you reach your career goal. Our careers consultants are on hand for one-to-one -one appointments where they can discuss potential careers ideas, what you're suited to and what you're actually passionate about to begin your career journey, uh, getting some focus. They organise many careers fairs, some specific for courses, whilst others like our annual careers and volunteering fair are diary dates for all of our students. These events are your chance to talk with employers about their industry and your future employment potential, including work experience opportunities. We also have an employer mentoring scheme, which gives you a chance to connect with experienced professionals and benefit from their knowledge and skills. We are accredited to the matrix standard, the Department for Education's measure of high quality information, advice and guidance. This accreditation reflects our commitment to your long-term career and life ambitions rather than just finding you a job. Advice and support go beyond job hunting to include volunteering, entrepreneurialism and continue 
after you've graduated. Also, our government, as you might know, has recently announced the return of the post-study work visa in the UK. The new graduates route scheme will allow eligible students to work or look for work any skill level for a period of two years after completing their course. There'll be no cap on the number of students who can apply for the new route. And this begins this year. Once we, bring, we have received government guidance on the post-study work visa, the career service will also help students prepare for that. Also, our externally facing teams deal with employer inquiries, encouraging organizations to showcase their jobs, placements, and internships to our students and to engage and share all opportunities through our employment portal. And I can tell you that we are currently engaged with more than 650 organizations. Within that 650, we have a specific target organizations that we work with that we call our top 100. These are usually college specific and are made up of organizations that offer the most appropriate graduate opportunities to our student body. This list is based on previous employment data and feedback received from college and most importantly from our students, as well as the employers themselves. Here you can see just a few of the organizations we have employer links with and that are, being, that are and have been our graduate destinations. The team also works hard to deliver two large employability festivals per year, the Careers Connection Weeks, encompassing a wide range of events, as well as regular college-specific events throughout the year, examples of that being design connections for our product design students, Centre for Contemporary Hospitality and Tourism Industry Networking Day, where we invited a number of hotel chains, restaurants and events organisations to talk to our students. That's the first part, careers. The second part of that is our student employment agency. Our on-campus student employment agency can help our students and graduates find temporary or casual work, both on campus and externally. This means students who are looking for part-time, casual work can improve their employable prospects after graduation and help support themselves financially during their studies. We also have a lot of graduates on our books who are looking for more experience. Students are allowed to work for 20 hours each week during turn time, as much as they want in the holidays. Graduates, of course, can work as much as they like any time of the year. Our students have taken temporary or casual work roles in areas such as customer service and administration, events and hospitality, marketing, digital and social media, research roles, project support, technical support, helping them gain valuable work experience and improving their employability. The final part of our career service is our enterprise offers. So employers look for people with enterprise skills as they are rare and highly sought after. So come and join us and give yourself the best opportunity, whether that be in employment or self-employment. We talked about the career service and the student employment agency, but we also have an enterprise or entrepreneurial section. The University of Derby Careers Enterprise Offer gives you an access to a variety of opportunities to upskill yourselves towards becoming more employable or employing yourself. And there are, and there is help to developing your skills and finding your feet in business or social enterprise. You could join something like a Be The Boss uh, online program, obviously it's currently online, of enterprise support, which is aimed at students and graduates who want to be self-employed. The program achieves this through a combination of action planning, one-to-one -one support from our expert advisors, workshops and other activities. We also have a new initiative this year called the Be The Boss Accelerator. This program is designed to support our new business starts through the early stages of operation. If you combine the two together, Be The Boss and Be The Boss Accelerator, this becomes a new alternative to a one-year placement opportunity. And even if you don't have a business idea, you can join and complete this program by joining our new enterprise talent pool, in which you'll receive adverts to join other entrepreneurs who require your skill sets. If you've always wanted to make a difference in the world or more locally, then we have our social enterprise opportunities. Well, why not join something like an Actus community and participate in social activities with a view to a national competition of the best project every March and make a difference to your community. If you wish to tackle something more global, 
like the UN to take one of the UN sustainable development goals, then why not be creative and join our ingenuity project? If you're not sure and you want some a slightly lighter touch when it comes to enterprise, then you can simply follow our CES blog with the latest enterprise tips and information via the website. Finally, in the career section, it's not just Derby that you'll be getting support from. As we are a member of the Midlands International Group, which is a group consisting of careers representatives from 15 university career services, sharing good practice across the Midlands and working to support international students. Midlands in International Group also intends to support students from the region applying for the post-study work visa, once again, once we've received guidance. There's also many online resources available to students when looking for graduate employment, which we assist you with accessing and a number which, of which you can see on this slide. The final web link on this site, in fact, is a very good example of the work of the Midlands International Group and the sort of support they offer. This is a YouTube video on how to impress an employer in an interview, and it's specifically created for international students. I'm sure after hearing all about Derby and the business school and all they have to offer, particularly around being business ready and employability, that you'll now have your appetite whetted for interest and possibly thinking about becoming part of the university family. So in this last section, I'll tell you a little bit about how you can make that happen, finishing with some information on the cost of studying at Derby as well as how to apply before I explain that though, I thought I'd just give you one more short video uh, to try and pique your in increase your interest a little bit more. I'll leave this on, I'll leave this on uh, for a little bit longer. Um, I hike because I highly recommend registering for Derby on demand. We want to get lots of excellent information about the university, but particularly um, there is information for that subject specific or level of study specific. Um, we'll give you a, a virtual tour, um, interviews with academics and, and current students is, is very useful. Uh, it's easily downloadable onto your mobile phone. So you, you can see um, uh, the cost of our programs. Uh, our, we feel our undergraduate and postgraduate degrees are competitively priced uh, and offer exceptional value for money. Course fees vary uh, depending on the mode of study, for instance, on campus or online uh, are slightly different. But as you can see, for most programs, um, we have a standard tuition fee. Well, for the latest few information, please see our individual course pages on our website. We also have a range of discounts and scholarships available for international students. Full, full details, are, again, are available on our website, but I've picked out a few of the most popular ones today. Um, our Vice Chancellor Scholarship is one for a full tuition fees waived. To be considered for this, students will need to hire to achieve high academic results, exceed in our entry criteria for the course, but also demonstrate exceptional achievements in extracurricular activity either in your own time or through your employment or uh, community work, but it has to be in the last two years. We also offer um, a guaranteed £2,000 postgraduate taught discount given to all international students starting their first course with Derby, and that's definitely going to be available in September 2021 or January 2022. We are also part of the Great Scholarship Scheme, in partnership with the British Council and the Great Britain Campaign, the University of Derby is offering 10 scholarships to international students applying for postgraduate courses starting in September. The Great Scholarship programme was launched by the British Council together with 41 UK universities supporting postgraduate students to access UK higher education. The scholarship programme offers financial support of £11,000 to students pursuing a one-year postgraduate uh, 
uh, Masters at the University of Derby. Students must be from China, Ghana, Kenya, India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Pakistan or Thailand. We also then offer further scholarships worth £5,000 and £1,500 off tuition fees, plus there's a £500 discount available for tuition fees are all paid by full-time enrolment. Terms and conditions, of course, do apply to our discounts and offers, so please do check our website for the latest details and eligibility. Each of our courses has its own entry requirements, so it's best to check our website for the most up-to-date qualifications. You can also find the international qualifications to accept for entry onto a course. Before starting the application process, we advise you to have made a clear decision on the course you're applying for. If you'd like advice on your suitability for a course, you'll be able to find the program leader's email address on the course's webpage, as well as the entry requirements for the course. You can also contact me as the International Recruitment Officer of your country or SIUK. You can find our details on our website and on the slide at the end of this presentation. You can apply through UCAS or online to the relevant course page on our website. You can also get help with your application by using SIUK. Find your nearest um, office on our website. To complete and submit the application, you'll need to have the following qualifications. Qualification details including certificates and transcripts, a scanned copy of your passport, a personal statement showing your interest for the course and subject, a relevant academic reference. Students should also be where they will need to provide evidence of English language. We do, however, accept a number of local qualifications with a few examples I've shown here on our website. Please contact uh, either myself um, or the university for details of the others. Um, some courses may require a portfolio um, or an interview, particularly our health programmes and our art programmes. However, if you need any help at all with the application process, don't, please do contact our admissions team, myself or SIUK. Uh, in Nigeria, India and China, we also have Derby in-country staff who will be ha happy to help as well. Once again, please visit the website for more detail on applications and international requirements. There's no deadline for direct applications, but it's important to leave enough time for students to sort out their visa. Talking of which, we have a dedicated visa advisor here at Derby. Meet Ash Slater. International students, as I'm sure most of you are aware, uh, who are coming to study in the UK for a full-time course for more than six months will need a tier four visa. They can also apply for short-term visas if you're applying for courses less than six months. There's lots of helpful information about visa and immigration on our website, so please go to derby.ac.uk forward slash visas. Otherwise, Ash will be able to give you lots of useful advice on applying for visas before you arrive, whether you'll be applying from your home country or whether you'll be applying uh, from in the UK. He will also be able to advise on applying for the post study work visa after you graduate, which we now know will cost uh, £700, uh, as well as the full NHS surcharge. So thank, thank you, everyone. I, I hope you found the webinar useful uh, and it gave you a, lots of reasons and a taste of why we think the University of Derby is a great place to study in the UK. Please visit our website where you will find more specific information for international students and you can find our contact details. If you have any questions, you can email us at the addresses on screen. And also please, of course, follow us on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. Now it's time for some questions. Hi, Chris. Do you want me to read out a few questions that we have in the chat box or can you see them? So um, maybe we can go in order from Abu Bakr. Um, he said, I have done my bachelor degree in petroleum engineering, but I want to quit my major, want to pursue my higher education in political science and international relations. I have scored six bands in IELTS. Can I get admission? Oh, sorry. Can I get admission there? How about a dorm if I get admission there? 
Sorry, can, can you, what, what does he want to study again? He is currently um, studying engineering, which he wants to quit. Yeah. And he wants to pursue his um, higher education in political science and international relations. Is, does he, is he after a master's or a first degree? He's doing his master's, right? Uh, uh, bachelor's right now. Yeah. He's done his bachelor's. And, and what was his bachelor in? In petroleum engineering. Yeah, well, you can't switch from petroleum engineering to politics um, mm. or international relations. You know, you, you need to have studied. We offer a couple of programs in that area, but you mm. need to have studied um, a related subject in your first degree. And, and, and there are quite a number of subjects, things like sociology, um, obviously international relations, stuff, even geography areas like that. Um, but petroleum engineering is is not related at all, unfortunately. Okay. Um, there is another question from Elena. Uh, she says, I would like to have some information on whether I can apply for a PG CE secondary. I am becoming a, a MFL teacher with Italian, Spanish, and English. How to apply and if I can get a get a scholarship covering both living cost and tuition fee. My nationality is Italian and I have a pre-settled uh, status. Right. Um, yeah, yes, you can apply for PGC. We would consider, uh, we could would consider Elena for uh, the PGC. Um, we only teach um, primary at, at Derby. We offer PG, a number of PGCs but they are early years, so primary school, um, and then we offer college as well. Um, you wouldn't get a full scholarship uh, to cover everything. You might be eligible to um, a bursary um, to help you with the program, um, but probably not a full scholarship. But the best thing I can say is, is to um, send me an email with your details, um, what you've studied so far, uh, and, and which program specifically they're interested in. So if you, if you look at our um, education programs on our website and, and pick out the PGC you're interested in, we do have an international PGC as well as um, various PGCs um, at different levels of teaching. Um, drop me an email with one of the ones, the one you're interested in, and, uh, and I'll be able to give you all the details. Great. Um, there's one more question. From Elise, she says, my IELTS is slightly lower than the required grade for my MA education course starting September. If I take pre-sessional course, will I get combined CATS with postgraduate plus pre-sessional or will the pre-sessional be online only? Right. Wow. The pre-sessional program, if you, it depends on how far below the, the grade um, Elise is. So because um, obviously it's sort of it's a five week program to get you up half a point in IELTS. So the aim probably is to be back to face to face teaching. If say if you only if you, if you only need to get up half a point and you only need to come and study in August, we would hope to be back to face to face teaching in August, not online. Um, but we we wouldn't issue a joint cast. We don't issue joint classes because language is a condition of uh, of the master's program. Um, so you would have to have separate classes. Uh, what we do also offer is our own English language test as well, um, which you can do specifically if you want to study at Derby. You can do that's run throughout uh, now and September. So she could uh, do our own English language test if she wishes to. Um, but like you say, uh, our plan at the moment is that, you know, we should be back to face-to-face -face teaching. I mean, as of Monday, um, following the, the sort of government, gui government guidance. Um, we'll, we'll have 6,000 students returning to campus um, for our practical programmes where they have to be on campus to, to meet the requirements of the programme. Uh, and then obviously, and then hopefully in the middle of April, we'll be looking forward um, to other students coming back for blended learning as well. And, and the plan at the moment is that September we'll, be, we'll return back to face-to-face -face teaching, hopefully. So, so it depends on how long the course she requires, basically. Okay. Um, I 
We have one more student. I'm Amara. I'm a Nigerian. I have a first degree in biochemistry and I've applied for a master's of nursing adult with NMC. I want to know more about scholarship uh, positions available to assist in my study. I want to know what the school fees payment plan is like. I mean, how the fees should be paid and if it's possible to work to pay my tuition while I study. Right, so the, 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 the payment plan actually is, um, so the fees, as, as mentioned, um, for all, most of our masters are 14,700 pounds. Um, so the first year, uh, you'd be guaranteed uh, a 2,000 pound discount. So the fees would be 12,700 pounds for that first year of nursing. Um, what we ask students is to pay a 3,000 pounds deposit pre-CAS, um, after which obviously we'll issue the CAS. Um, and then they pay the balance after they've enrolled and started studying uh, in a further two instalments during the year. However, um, there are there is a possibility, and lots of students do this, to, this. Once they've arrived, they go to speak to our finance department and arrange um, their own financial plan, which will usually includes uh, more instalments. So, so ba the basic one is three thousand pounds prior to uh, the CAS. And then another two instalments to pay the balance. Um, but it is possible to arrange further instalments if individual students wishes, wish to do so. All right. Um, Chris and Aliza has come back saying thank you. Is there a, a few for the internal a fees for the internal test? My score is 5.5 and I have already sent an application. Yeah, yeah. So um, it's it's eighty pounds for our test. So it's it's basically our test. It tests the four components. Um, you would have um, obviously a written test, and then one of our English language uh, centre staff teachers will would do the oral and speaking test through via Skype um, or Teams. So yeah, it, it's it's eighty pounds, but um, you said you're guaranteed. Um, it's, you can use it for um, applying to us. It's, as it, it's, it's a lot cheaper than IELTS. Um, and you can do it, you can book it very quickly. Um, so it's far more um, easily available than IELTS as well. Great. Um, yeah, so do we have any more questions? I think we got everyone. Yeah, that's great. Um, yeah. So um, I'll just thank everyone for joining us today. And thank you, Chris, for um, the presentation and um, answering all the questions. If I have some more questions and if the students have more questions, can you put down your email address? So that, um, oh, yes. Sorry. We can yeah, we'll do that. That that's 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 my direct email address so uh, any questions you have great thank you um chris just before you go we have one last question yeah i can see that now okay yeah um yeah yes daniel yeah yeah i mean there are possible possibilities of advanced standing. Um, of course, what we would do is we would look at um, the first year you've completed um, in your current program or your current studies. We would match the modules and, and what you've studied in your current institution against what you would have needed to complete at our institution. Uh, and then if they match, you know, if there is a match there, then we, we will uh, transfer students with advanced standing. So, for, so what you'd need to do, uh, obviously, it would need to be a, a similar program to our own sports degree. It would have to be a, a recognised institution. It would have to be a recognised degree program. Um, so, um, if you've already applied, if you just uh, yeah, you've got my email address there, just drop me an email with your application ID, uh, and I can look into your program. As, I, as I'm sure you know, there are many sports programs we offered. So, so I'm not sure if you probably probably applied for 
sports with education or you might have applied for sports and exercise science. Uh, but I can, I can easily check for you uh, whether what you've studied already maps across to our program and then we can offer you uh, the second year. Great. Thank you very much, uh, Chris. If there are no more questions, we're going to let you go. And thank you everyone else for joining. Um, I'm just going to end this meeting now. And if you have any questions, you've got Chris um, says email address and I'll just put in SIUK's email address too. It's info at studyin-uk.com. All right. Thank you, everyone. I'm going to end okay. the meeting. Have a lovely weekend, everyone.